got E4 and trying to mix in a few more Frenches just because the people on YouTube seem to like it. So we're going to keep doing it. My favorite 97 is back. Uh-huh. Like to trade off my bad B. Queen E2 is typically a good move. So A5, reactivate the threat. And the good players play A4 here in order to anchor the bishop on B5. Let's go ahead and trade because I'm looking to get that b4 square for typically my knight and since he didn't take let's go ahead and gain a tempo going about it this way uh-huh and with his queen on b5 a knight can't get there so We've got some time to consolidate. Okay. good enough <clears throat> and the thing about this this structure is white's got a little something here with the open file so I'm just casually trading pieces to get rid of his good ones versus my bad ones and then we'll reach an ending where we can just play forever and ever and ever and I'll look for a mistake and a lot of people are scared to play equal positions and I say absolutely not so let's he's doing a pass move and that's that's normally one of those indicators h3 I'm gonna go h6 if he took some time to come up with that move because that means he's struggling to find a plan and 91 probably unnecessary in the position depends on where he's going I don't know yet but with rook c8, I feel like black is equalized in the position. My bishop's better than his in the long term. Maybe he should have taken the opportunity to play bishop g5 at some point. Um, but we have equality, and there's, there's room now to maneuver. My only weakness, b6, has been taken care of the whole time. And... Let's go ahead and go this route. Give a tickle to the B. And let's see if we can't coax some moves. I'm just gonna play Bishop F8 and wait. We have the time edge, and my opponent may start to get a bit impulsive here just because he'll feel the heat. And that move blunders because the knight on a3. And like I said, it's, it's this type of waiting game as the opponent is respectful. We always appreciate that because it's too often... <laughs> I get people that because I'm playing on a public account are quite nasty. And I'm like, guys, we're just playing casual games. It's okay. <laughs> but 97, bishop d3. And we get the, the typical stuff. Everything looks good. I mean, bishop takes d3 is got to be more accurate. 
but we get the same position by transposition. Queen d7. I can allow him to take here? Ah. Because your lady gets in a right rough, rough spot. Rough. Can't say rough. Oh, okay. So, I missed that idea with queen d7. But, as we can see, I'm pretty on point in this dead equal position. No real blunders. And after bishop f8, like, this is the type of move that a lot of players go, well, why'd you play bishop f8? Well, if I played knight b8, he could go queen e8 check and my bishop goes to f8. And I don't want to allow a check, and I'm considering moving the knight there. I'm considering playing queen c6 at some point. And nothing's really changing in the position. My long-term goal is I want to get to attack this pawn. So I'm just playing a waiting move. That's it. And white should definitely worry about this knight, play something like queen e2, swap gears, and my weaknesses are easy. One, his weaknesses, two, I like the position a little bit better because it's very easy for black to play. We see knight d3, and that's the end of the game because if takes, he hangs a piece. And respectfully, the opponent resigned. So, yep. When when you're done, you're done, and you know it. So, good one.